Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! This is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. I'm super excited because tonight we have on uh, the prolific game blogger and game designer known as Quinn Murphy. How are you doing, Quinn? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Great, great. That That's great because I'm not doing so good today myself, actually. See, my cousin Lenny was invited to make a presentation to a high school biology class last week, and he's still not answering his phone. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. Sh should I be worried? Ye probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you, you might need to... Um, you know, uh, whatever you do, don't don't go in there to check out yourself. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll phone a friend. Yes, yeah, send someone. Okay, now now Quinn, I understand that you've recently released a game that sounds really tasty about five flies. I can't wait to to check it out. Oh, it's it's actually um not flies, although that could be tasty. It's actually five fires. Oh, five, five, five fire. So it's about firefighting in the in the upper northwest. Uh, actually, it's about uh, rapping and hip hop in New York City. Oh, that that sounds rather intriguing. Like, can you uh, kick a hole in your speaker, pull the plug, and then jet? <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Hip hop in in American African American culture is kind of underrepresented in RPGs, kind of like the amphibian community. And I think we've got a thing in common here, Quinn. How are you addressing diversity in the in the game design? Uh, you know, I mean, there's so many diversity is such a a, a big topic, and, and ultimately, you know, and, I, and I've done a lot of uh, writing and thinking and talking about it, but ultimately, it came down to we just have to make games, and we have to make games about things we want to see and for people. We like to do it. You know, I think there are a lot of people who are, are into hip-hop and would like to see something that is about some of the, the themes and uh, include some of those elements. So I figured just, why not? You know, I've been working on it for a couple of years and uh, just plugging away at it. So. So, do you have to actually write a rap song? No. Uh, the, one of the important parts of me is uh, important parts for me of the game is that it's not about trying to emulate people in hip hop culture. You're, you know, you're, you're not going to have to break dance. You're not going to have to, you know, actually graffiti up your house or. Uh, you know, uh, write a rap song, like there are mechanics in there, while there, there are mechanics for creating art, but there are sort of ways to simulate the notion of an artist creating things for an audience, So and, and it's all collaborative, so everyone sort of works together, and one person's sort of in charge, and selecting different elements that the group throws out there. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat. I, okay. Oh, I, I mean, because it would be it would be neat if there was a performance element. There, there could be. I mean, that that would be pretty much the advanced mode of the game, right? If 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 you you know if if the game is pretty rules light, and if you wanted to do a performance thing, I, I think any, anybody could be free to. But I didn't want to require that of people because I wanted I wanted people to come to it. If, if you didn't know much about hip hop or just weren't a performer like I'm. I'm not much of a rapper, <laughs> I'll tell you that, uh, but but I enjoy it. Uh, you know, I wanted something that I could come in there and not feel stage fright just for playing the game. I understand that you've recently released a game that's all about NPR, and you, like, every once in a while you have to stop the game, interrupt everyone, and try to raise money. <laughs> How's that going? Um, that's going good, although it's a slightly different topic. Um, it's uh, it's called Community Radio, and it's about a, a game uh, where you play a, a residence in sort of a creepy town, and you go through, uh, you improv out scenes that happen in this creepy town, and then somebody plays a radio announcer and sort of announces what was happening afterwards. 
And it, it's a sort of a dark comedy game. Uh, there's similarities to, uh, you know, for, for me, I, I like to think of it as, as Twin Peaks meets NPR. Uh, or, or, or better yet, Twin Peaks meets Northern Exposure, I think, is, is more there. Uh, a podcast that some people might be familiar with that has a lot of similarities to it is uh, Welcome to Night Vale. Oh, right. I, I think that has stories about raining frogs sometimes, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Community rate. So is is that is that just a game you, you you've got in play test or is that out? Um, I, I, I've done some uh, play testing. It's it's out now. Um, people can uh, get it. It's a it's a sh- you know short game. Uh, it, it's nice because you can play it with a, a small or large groups of people. Okay. I, I, now, Quint, I've got a serious question for you. Now, I, I, all this okay. talk about right and wrong. We we got a serious question. I really need to know. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Who is your favorite old school rapper and why? Rakim. Uh, because he just is, I mean, still, I, I you know, I went on a, a thing in, in this game. You can imagine uh, for Five Fires, I've listened to, a, a, re-listened to a lot of old school hip hop. And I still listen to his stuff today and his lyricism, uh, his, his rap skill is great, but his lyricism was still impactful today. And, it, and when he released it, it, was completely ahead of his time. Well, I gotta tell you, Quinn Murphy, it was it was a super pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for being on the Dr. Tom the Frog show, Quinn. Thank you for having me. It was great. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.